The Christmas Feast Princess Tiana and Prince Naveen were celebrating their first Christmas together. Tiana had invited their family and friends to her restaurant for a Christmas Eve feast. She wanted Naveen to share in the traditions she knew and loved. We might need to buy more ornaments, Tiana said. As long as they're fit for a princess, Naveen replied. That week he had helped Tiana decorate her restaurant, make centerpieces, and put up a tree. But there was still more work to be done. Tiana needed to buy ingredients for a Christmas Eve dinner, so she and Naveen headed to the market. I can't wait to taste the feast you're going to make, Naveen said. With my help, of course. Well, we need quite a few things, Tiana said. Let's see. First we should get the vegetables. Tiana carefully looked through all the produce at the vegetable stall. She wanted to make sure she had all the freshest ingredients for their Christmas feast. Next was the butcher shop, and then they stopped for some eggs and cheese. Finally, all Tiana needed was some powdered sugar for her famous beignets. I think we'll have to make another trip, said Naveen as he struggled with the tower of parcels. How many people are we cooking for? My mother, Charlotte, Big Daddy, your parents, and our friends from the town and the bayou. We'll be serving as many people as want to join us, Tiana said happily. After all, the more the merrier. Tiana spent the next few days cooking and baking with Naveen by her side. For someone who didn't know how to chop a mushroom, you've become quite an expert, Tiana told Naveen. You taught me everything I know, Naveen reminded her. When darkness fell on Christmas Eve, all the food for the banquet was finally ready. Before our guests arrive, I have a surprise for you, Tiana announced, handing Naveen his coat. Where are we going, he asked. You'll find out soon enough, Tiana answered mysteriously. Just a hint, Naveen pleaded, but Tiana simply smiled silently. Tiana walked Naveen to the riverside and together they paddled a canoe into the bayou. As they turned a corner, Naveen's surprise came into view. There were huge bonfires burning alongside the river. The fires are for Papa Noel, Tiana explained. So he can find his way in the sky, asked Naveen. Tiana laughed. Papa Noel doesn't use a sleigh. He travels in a pirogue. That's a flat bottom canoe pulled by alligators. I hope he leaves the gators outside when he delivers the presents, Naveen exclaimed. Fog rolled in and Tiana and Naveen paddled toward home. The folks along the river pointed excitedly at the couple's canoe. Through the mist, all they could see was the couple's red blanket. Look, the river folk shouted, it's him. They thought Tiana and Naveen's canoe belonged to Papa Noel. All around them, people jumped into their boats and paddled behind the canoe, hoping to catch a glimpse of the mysterious visitor. When the bayou folk paddled out of the fog, they found Tiana and Naveen standing on the dock. Have you seen Papa Noel? Someone asked. We haven't, but since you're in town, would you like to join us for dinner? There's plenty to share, Tiana said. Thank you, said one of the travelers. I guess we don't mind if we do. By the time Tiana and Naveen reached Tiana's palace, guests were starting to arrive. Tiana greeted Naveen's parents and her mother, Eudora. She welcomed her best friend, Charlotte, and her friend's father, Big Daddy LaBeouf. Some of our guests are saying they saw Papa Noel on the river, Charlotte said. Do you suppose that's him there? Tiana looked up and saw an elderly man in a red suit with the other guests. She was curious, but she had to finish cooking and put on her party dress. In the dining room, Tiana's alligator friend, Louis, handed out parcels of sugared fruits and candies. Each box was wrapped with shiny purple paper and topped with a beautiful golden bow. One woman was especially excited to see Louis. It's one of Papa Noel's alligators, the woman said. Louis gave her a wide, toothy smile. It was nice that none of the guests were afraid of him. Soon, Tiana and Naveen brought out the food. Dinner is served, Tiana announced. Everyone cheered when they saw the table full of food. There were pots of Tiana's delicious gumbo, turkey with chestnuts, roasted ham, grits, yams, vegetables, and souffles. The guests heaped their plates high and dug in. Tiana smiled. There was nothing she liked better than friends enjoying her cooking. Some of the guests ate second, third, and even fourth helpings. After everyone had eaten, Naveen and Louis played jazzy versions of their favorite Christmas carols. Tiana invited her guests to dance to the music. As the band finished off another toe-tapping tune, Tiana realized she had forgotten to serve dessert. Quickly, she ran to the kitchen and filled a cart with custards, cakes, and beignets. The cart was so full that Tiana could barely open the kitchen door. Let me help you with that, my dear, said a white-bearded gentleman. He helped Tiana push the cart into the dining room. As Tiana ducked back into the kitchen, she realized the man looked just like Papa Noel. Tiana hurried back to the dining room, but the man had already vanished. Just then, Naveen walked up. What a wonderful dinner, he exclaimed. The food, the music, the people. It's all so wonderful. It is Christmas time in New Orleans. Then Tiana spotted the man in the red suit. Do you think that's Papa Noel? 
Before Tiana could investigate, Naveen led her onto the dance floor. Stranger things have happened, he said. Tiana grinned. She was delighted that Naveen's first New Orleans Christmas was going so well. For her, that was magic enough. <laughs> <laughs>